Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about acceleration in terms of displacement. Now, this is a bit of a this might be a bit of a new concept to, to you because you're used to saying acceleration is equal to the change of velocity or the change of time. Right? So this is the usual notation, but it turns out that you can uh, you can write it out in terms of uh, displacement, which is x as well. So this is the question that we're going to pose: How do we do this? All right, let me start off by a simple example. So I want to say a particle moves in uh, in a motion described by this to so two sine, let's say two t, okay? Um, now, now what we have over here. So if you, if you if I draw the sine curve, it looks something like this, right? So remember, this is time, and this is my x x axis. So basically. Starting from zero, it's going to go in this direction, and then it's going to go back in this direction. So it's just it's just basically uh, a particle that's oscillating back and forth about zero. Okay, so it's just going to keep doing this, da da da, -da, -da and so on. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first differentiation with respect to t. So x dash, or rather in this case I'm going to say x dot. So x one dot means differentiate once with respect to time, two dots means uh, twice with respect to time, and so on. So x dot, in this case, is going to be uh, f uh, two times two cos two t. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to leave it like this. I have a reason why I'm doing this, but... And then x double dot is going to be... This, so this two came from there and then the 2 comes down again, so it's going to be 2 times 2 squared minus sine 2t. Okay, so basically this, so basically what we have is minus 2 times, uh, sorry, minus 2 squared, so let me just borrow this 2 squared, times, if I, if, if I look at this 2 sine 2t, guess what, that's the same as my x. So minus 2 squared times x. Okay, so my acceleration is actually can be written as a function of displacement x. Okay, so basically what it's saying is, um, so if, if I look at the x-axis, okay, so let's, oops, my, my mistake, uh, let's look at the x-axis horizontally. Okay, so it's starting off at 0. The f basically what it's saying is that the further away that it goes, the further away that it goes, the higher the acceleration is going to be towards the center. Okay, so think about it. So when x is positive, the acceleration is actually pointing this way. When x is negative, so when the particle is somewhere around here, um, the acceleration is towards the center. So it's it's higher. It's it's uh, it's pointing in the, towards zero. Okay, so the further out you go, the higher the acceleration is going to be towards the center. All right, so this is a this is a special call case, and this is called um, simple harmonic motion. So I'm going to write SHM, so simple harmonic motion. But we'll probably deal with that later. Um, but that's a special case, right? So basically, there's nothing stopping me from uh, giving you a problem where I can state acceleration as a function of x. All right, so for this kind of question. You should you should be able to solve it, but let me let me give you a bit more tools so that you can actually deal with it properly. So let me let me start off by um, let me start off by the definition. So the definition of acceleration is of course change in velocity or change in time, but this can be written thanks to the chain rule as change in velocity or change in x times change in x over change in time, right? So, so this, this is the so uh, effect of the chain rule. Uh, now, guess what? This dx dt part, that's velocity. So that, that is velocity. So I can write this acceleration is uh, velocity times dv dx. Now, there's, there's actually another method of doing this, and that's to say, okay, this velocity, this velocity right here, 
can be written like this. Velocity is half v squared differentiate with respect to velocity. Now, if I differentiate this, this thing inside the bracket with respect to velocity, that is going to be v, right? That's, go that's going to be velocity. Uh, the simple differentiation times dv dx. And guess what? I can cancel out these two dv's thanks to, again, chain rule. So I end up with d half v squared dx. Okay, so so there you go. And, of course, uh, dv dt. So this one, I should have probably mentioned the most basic one, that uh, dv dt is, of course, uh, d dx dt differentiated right so effectively this is the same as saying x differentiated twice with respect to time will give you uh, will give you acceleration so in the end there are three ways of writing acceleration so acceleration to start off with is change in velocity over change in time is equal to uh, the second derivative of x with respect to time right is equal to v dv dx and last of all last but not least I guess is d half e squared dx okay so let's let's do an example let's do an example so suppose suppose I say suppose I s I'm, I'm going to say that my acceleration is equal to uh, 2x minus 3x squared okay so this is the question right what I need to do is find the uh, find x so find velocity in terms of displacement and in order to do that I need to pick out which method am I going to use out of these things now it might be tempting to use this one but it's actually it actually turns out it's going to make harder so we're actually going to use this equation because we need to integrate, so that's the fact of this question that you will have to integrate. And as it actually turns out it's easy to integrate this function as opposed to this one right here. Okay, so so I end up saying d half d squared dx is equal to 2x minus 3x squared. Right? This dx I can take to the opposite side and integrate. So effectively what I'm going to end up with is this. of 2x minus 3x squared dx right so integrating this the the left hand side remember is going to be half simply going to be half v squared and this side is going to be x squared minus x cubed plus c now this plus c is important because um, given the initial conditions right so for example if i say at uh, x equals zero um, at x equals zero the velocity is such and such then I can find what c is, okay? But I'm going to leave it as c for now. So effectively, my uh, in simplifying this equation, I will end up getting uh, v squared is equal to 2x squared minus 2x cubed plus c, right? So I'm not bother with running 2c. And velocity is equal to, uh, so plus or minus, so don't forget the plus or minus, 2x squared minus 2x cubed plus c so depending on these questions uh, some questions uh, only the plus will be the possible case right um, or sometimes especially if they're asking for, uh, for speed where the, the direction is not important you will just need to worry about the absolute value okay um, so that's depending on the question so that's that's it for acceleration in terms of displacement if you have any questions, let me know. And in the next question, I'll probably do some simple harmonic questions. So SHA is going to be on in our next video. Okay. And thank you.